Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video where we are going to take an example on conditional distribution. To be very much precise, we are going to take an example on discrete random variable. Okay, because in the just we have seen the definition of continuous uh, conditional distribution for uh, continuous random variable and discrete random variable. So here we are going to discuss about the discrete random variable. Okay, so let us see what this problem says. So this problem says find the conditional probability function of x given y, y given x and we are given the distribution that is the probability function, joint probability function is given to us. Okay, now with the help of this, uh, I have already told you that if you have a problem of discrete random variable, so the very first thing that you have to do is to make the joint probability table. Okay, so without much ado, let us first of all uh, make the joint probability table. Joint probability table. Okay, so what we do in uh, joint probability table, we just uh, make a table like uh, this. So here we will be having some values of y, here some values of x, right? And what are the values of x we have? We have 1, 2 and 3. So these are the three values of x we have. And what are the values of y? 1, 2, 3. Okay. So we have this. Now, okay. So now put x is equal to, for this, what would be the joint uh, probability function for x is equal to 1, y equal to 1? This is 1 by 36, right? For x is equal to 1, y equal to 2, 1 by 18. And for x is equal to 1, y equal to 3 is uh, 1 by 12, right? Now, likewise, you can find out for x equal to 2, y equal to 1. So, this is uh, 1 by 18. And for x equal to 2, y equal to 2, this is 1 by 9. x is equal to 2, y equal to 3, 1 by 6, likewise 3. So, 1 by 12. Then, for x is equal to 3, y equal to 2 is 1 by 6. And this is 1 by 4. So this is uh, what we have just made. Now what is this? These are the values where we have to sum up like row wise and these are the values you have to sum up like column wise. Okay. So 1 by 36 plus 1 by 18 plus 1 by 12. What is it? This is 1 by 6. Right. Now this is 1 by 18, 1 by 9, 1 by 6. So what is its value? This value is 1 by 3, 1 by 12, 1 by 6 plus 1 by 4, that's 1 by 2, right? Simple mathematics. Now add like this, so this is like same, so 1 by 6, then this is 1 by 3, and this is 1 by 2, okay? So sum up column wise, sum up row wise, okay? And what is the grand total we are getting? We are getting grand total to be 1, right? So, this is grand total, this is uh, marginal, this is marginal probability functions of x, this is marginal probability functions of y, this is grand total, okay. Now, once the table is, uh, uh, this joint probability table is made, now, answering to the question is not a big deal, okay? So, if it is like this, now, we have to find out the probability function of 
y given x and x given y. So what we need to do is we just need to find out the marginal uh, marginal probability function. So let us find out the marginal density function. Sorry, marginal probability function of x. So first of all, I am going to find the marginal the marginal probability. Now I will be writing precisely marginal probability function of x of x is what is it we denote it by f1 of x no need to do anything you just have to write down these values what are these values 1 by 6 for x is equal to 1 then 1 by 2 for x is equal to 2 and 1 sorry 1 by 3 for x equal to 2 and 1 by 2 for x is equal to 3. So this is my f1 of x. Okay. Now we can write it in its uh, general form. So I will write it as here. That is f1 of x is equal to what is it? x by 6 for x is equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay. And 0 otherwise. So once I gave the marginal probability function of x, which is f1 of x, now I can able to find out the conditional probability function of x given y. Okay. So let me find out this first one. The where it is the conditional the conditional probability the conditional probability function of x given y is what is it f of x given y okay so which which one we can find out with the help of this for f f given uh, f of x given y you can write like f of x y upon f2 of y okay so we need to find out f2 of y but we don't have f2 of y we have just find out for the time being margin probability function of x so we can find the first one which is margin probability function of we can find y given x so this is f of x y upon f1 of x right now you have these value what is f of x y we have f of x y is 36 so it is like x y by 36 divide by divide by x by 6 so it would be like 6 by x and this is for x is equal to 1 2 3 and here it is 0 otherwise Okay, now when you cancelled it, x get cancelled, 1, 6, 6, 6, 36. Okay, so we actually remain with, this is nothing but y by 6 for x is equal to 1, 2, 3. And yes, that is my f of y given x. Okay, so we have this... Uh, conditional probability function of x given y. Now, let us find out the marginal probability function of y. Okay. So, this is just the first, this is just the, uh, where it is? x given y? The, sorry. This is y given x. Correct. This is y given x. Sorry. Pardon. So, this is just the second thing that we have found out. Now, let us find out the first thing. So, for the first thing, what we need to find out? marginal probability function of y and we denote it by we denote it by f2 of y so what is it for y is equal to 1 we have 1 by 6 for y equal to 2 we have 1 by 3 and for y is equal to 3 we have 1 by 2 right therefore the conditional sorry let me write its uh, general form f2 of y this is f2 of y so, f2 of y can be written as 
y by 6 for y is equal to 1, 2 and 3. And likewise, you can find out the condition probability function of what? x given y, which is given by f of x given y is equal to f of x y upon f2 of y. Okay. So, what is conditional probability function of x given y? It should be f of x y, which is my x y by 36 divided by f2 of y. What is f2 of y? Just we have found out. So, f2 of y is y by 6. So, when you substitute here, it would be like 6 by y and we get x by 6 for y is equal to 1, 2, 3 and x is equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, you might have uh, uh, find this uh, topic to be the easiest one. Okay. So, this is the very easiest of all topics. So, just go through that and try to solve problem based on it. And if you have any doubt, you can contact me. Okay. So, we'll be coming up with the next problem that is the conditional distribution for conditional distribution for what? Continuous random variable. Okay. So, thank you for watching this learning video. Enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.